Thank you all for coming this morning. Um, I know it's very difficult for all of us to be able to gather during COVID-19, and uh, I, I know this is a sacrifice for many of you to come um, and do this today, but I want to thank you. Uh, as you know, for several years, we've had city manager medallions. They were created by my predecessor, John Darrington, and uh, we have used these medallions in his honor since I've been city manager, and we will continue on, um, at least for the next week, <laughs> doing so. So um, again, that's my, my privilege, privilege to do that. Um, these medallions go to citizens and employees that have exemplified um, courage extreme courage, bravery, and compassion to our neighbors or to ourselves and our organization. And more than anything, the individuals, individuals who exemplify the city's core values of teamwork, integrity, and excellence. One such event occurred recently that affected the livelihood of one of our own employees, Adam Reichert. Adam, plant operator at the wastewater treatment facility, was overcome by toxic fumes when investigating excuse me, a blockage at the plant. Adam, who suffers from asthma, quickly went into distress. It took the quick thinking response of several employees spanning across three departments to save this man's life. I would like to individually recognize 16 individuals and speak to their dedication and valor. I would like to ask Pete Rogalski, Chief Bruce, and Chief Huntington to join me up front, and all others when I call your name, if you would please come forward. So from our Public Works Department, Hector Moreno, Wastewater Stormwater Maintenance Supervisor, for immediately coming to Adam's aid when he went outside to try to retrieve his inhaler and other medication. In addition, once Adam became unconscious, Hector immediately called 911. Come on forward. Once you get your plaques, if you would stay up here, and then we'll get some photos of everyone together. Thank you, Hector. Thank you. Nate Saunders, General Calf Worker, Wastewater Treatment Facility for being on scene to assist and being part of the CPR team and calmly stepping into this crisis to contribute as needed. Thank you, Nate. Dana Cullen, General Craft Worker, Wastewater Treatment Facility, for being on scene to assist, being part of the CPR team and calmly stepping into this crisis to contribute as needed. Thank you, Dana. Farron Baker, General Craft Worker, Wastewater Treatment Facility, for being on scene to assist and immediately contacting Supervisor Steve Brewer. In addition, for seeing the needs of your coworkers and making sure help was provided as efficiently and safely as possible. Steve Brewer, Wastewater Stormwater Manager, for responding as soon as notified and seeing to the needs of your coworkers and making sure help was provided as efficiently and safely as possible. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Farron. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much. Your quick actions definitely saved a life. Thank you. From the Richland Police Department and Benton County Emergency Services, Brandy Hogue, Emergency Communications Dispatcher, first to respond to the 911 call from Hector and provide clear, decisive direction to wastewater staff that enabled them to focus on Adam and perform effective CPR. I understand she was quite the rock. Thank you, Brandy. Police Sergeant Jaron Whitby, assisting in stabilizing Adam for EMT treatment. Thank you, Jaron. Police Officer Ukiah Peterson for assisting in stabilizing Adam for EMT treatment. I understand that Ukiah is not here today, that he was called up to the National Guard and he is defending our capital today. Thank you. Thank you for your services. This was a great, I appreciate you very much. <laughs> Richland Fire and Emergency Services. Fire Captain Scott Clemenson for responding quickly, providing leadership, and performing a primary care role for Adam. Thank you, sir. Firefighter Colton Casillas for responding quickly and performing a primary care role for Adam. Thank you, Colton. Firefighter Darren Larpentor for responding quickly and performing a primary care role for Adam.
Thank you, sir. Firefighter Emily Nakora for responding quickly and performing a primary care role for Adam. Thank you, Emily. Fire Lieutenant Chris Roney for assisting in stabilizing Adam for EMT treatment. Thank you, sir. Firefighter Keith Ramsey for on-scene response and assistance, and I believe he is not here at the moment. Firefighter Tim Birch for on-scene response and assistance. Thank you. And Firefighter Chris Bird for on-scene response and assistance. Thank you. So when I receive these um, notifications for nominations for city manager's medallions, there is a write-up, and I received several. But I want to share with you an excerpt from one of the responses that I got. This is from Captain Clemenson, and he had this to say about teamwork during this event. As a firefighter EMT for over 25 years, and as a City of Richmond employee for just over 20, I can honestly say this incident is among the most professional and well-executed workplace emergencies I have ever responded to. From the coordination of personnel guiding EMS crews, to the scene, to the CPR, and care being given to the patient by fellow wastewater employees, every aspect of this incident was flawless. City of Richmond employees from wastewater treatment acted swiftly and decisively, providing a level of response indicated they have been practicing for this event for years. Every City of Richland employee encountered on this call remained calm and professional throughout the incident. Without a very high level of training and professionalism, this patient would not have survived. I only wish Adam was here today. He can't be here today. I know that he is absolutely so appreciative of all the efforts that all of you um, um, put into this event. Uh, I can't even imagine um, what that was like for the wastewater department, um, having to see one of your own go through something like that, your quick actions, um, the training that the fire department put all of us through. I, when I got the call, that this was happening. Of course, my, my first thought, thank goodness, was for the employee. And then I thought, how's everyone else doing? And then my third thought was, oh my gosh, it worked. The training worked. And I was very, very pleased that we all came together. You all came together to make such a profound difference in someone's life. And, and that life happened to be one of our own. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all very much. You are Heroes, I know many of you hear that on a regular basis, but for Adam, I can tell you each and every single one of you is a hero today. So thank you, thank you directors for making sure that you have great staff here and that they're well trained. Um, thank you for those of you who nominated all of these people. Thank you, Captain, for writing something that made me cry. And um, you have all epitomized the exact definition of teamwork, so thank you very much. Um, I'm going to ask Pete and Tom and John if they have anything that they would like to add. Chief? I, I've spent the last week and a half meeting with each of our crews and, and conveying to them the pride that I have in the work that they do and the workforce, the workforce that they are. And I want to convey that same thing to the entire city here. This is such a great example, as Cindy pointed out, of our value of, of teamwork really playing out in a meaningful way. And I could not be more proud to be part of an organization than I am of being a director in the city right now. So thank you to all of you. And thank you to, uh, to everybody who supports our uh, personnel, our, our employees, and helped this thing, this event come into a positive outcome. I'll just say that it's a uh, fantastic effort by, the, by, everybody, by everybody involved. And I particularly want to call out uh, Brandy. Um, everything I heard from my staff about, about your guidance through this thing was amazing. And then to find out that you're relatively new on the job and just gone through training, you, you, you're a rock star, like Cindy said, and we, ver we just can't be more thankful. As a, as, a, as a group in wastewater, we can't be more thankful for you helping us get through that. And 
the EMS guys as well, I mean, uh, to, to understand, you know, again, I was remote and just hearing about it, but to understand that your quick action revived Adam and that we, in relatively short order, knew he was gonna be recovering, wow, you know. Um, Cause you just, you, uh, and, then, and then to each of the guys, it's just, just amazing. Um, like, like Cindy said, we get, we get trained well, um, but uh, you never quite, I think even uh, Hector shared with me that, you, that the doubt or the, the feeling that we all have that we don't know how we're gonna perform in the moment and then to be in the moment and just and, and do what you've been trained to do and follow instructions and to have a, have a great outcome. It's just a huge boost to us. And, uh, hope, and it's just another step, I think, in the, in the growth and maturity of that division as a division that you can know, you guys know that you can perform and uh, you're proving it repeatedly in, in, in mundane ways and in this case in a crisis. So well done. Uh, but certainly what this demonstrates is what we all know already as employees and citizens of this great town. But this is what we do every day and what brings this out of commonplace is the fact that we're recognizing the actions of everybody here, that they did do exactly what they were trained to do. And that's what we do every day. And that's the message that we need to take to our citizens that we are here for them. And had it been one of our other citizens, not just an employee, we'd have done the same thing. So I thank each of, each of you. So thank you for coming. I know that um, there are family and friends here and um, we appreciate you coming. We appreciate you supporting our employees while they come to the job every day and do what they do. Um, sometimes going home and carrying the burden of what we do here is, is difficult. And so some of you that are at home or coworkers that are lending a, a shoulder or an ear, um, you are important too. So thank you.